Centre for Computational Sciences, or CCS for short, is a research centre at the University of Tsukuba on computational science and high-performance computing. We have had more than 30 years of history to develop massively parallel supercomputers and have been performing the world-class research on large-scale simulations. In 2019, CCS introduces a new supercomputer named Cygnus as the 10th generation of the originally developed machine. Cygnus is a new concept of accelerated supercomputer to equip the state-of-the-art GPU and FPGA for true high-speed computing on various problem sizes and target applications. Here is the uniqueness of Cygnus supercomputer. Different from other accelerated systems such as GPU clusters, each computation node is equipped with two types of accelerators, GPU and FPGA. Why do we introduce both GPU and FPGA in a single system? Let's introduce from our new concept of computation model. Graphics Processing Unit, or GPU for short, is the most commonly used accelerating device for high-end supercomputing. Today's GPU consists of thousands of simple computing elements controlled by a single instruction stream. Here, each instruction is executed on a number of data elements simultaneously. On the branch condition code, only data elements where the condition is satisfied are calculated first. Then, another side is calculated later. It degrades the performance drastically. Or, if the number of parallel elements is small, most of the elements are not processed. Moreover, if the program frequently requires communication between GPUs over multiple nodes, its overhead to switch the host and kernel execution makes large overhead. On the other hand, Field Programmable Gate Array, or FPGA for short, can tolerate these problems on GPUs. FPGA is a reconfigurable logic circuit where users can program the circuit inside the chip. More importantly, the latest high-performance FPGAs are equipped with multiple high-speed optical communication interfaces for ultra-high-speed communication between FPGAs. We use FPGA to compensate the problem of GPU and also use FPGA communication interface aggressively. Here, GPU and FPGA work together for various applications. This concept is named Accelerator in Switch, or AIS for short. We name the total computation model as Multi-Hybrid Accelerated Computing, here, multiple accelerating devices by GPU and FPGA contribute to ultra-high-speed computation. We utilize both GPUs and FPGAs for computation or communication with the best use to utilize each device's characteristics effectively. Traditionally, hardware description language is needed to program on FPGA with a large amount of coding. This is an example of Verilog HDL for inner product computation. However, the recent FPGA programming environment makes it possible to use OpenCL, which greatly reduces the programmer's effort. Moreover, recent FPGA with high-speed communication channels can communicate with each other actively according to the program, while GPU cannot invoke it by itself. 
We developed an original module to enable FPGA to FPGA direct communication on OpenCL level. Users can easily invoke the communication between two FPGAs in their OpenCL code. Using our newly developed module, FPGAs between two nodes can communicate with very fast speed, higher than ordinary communication via CPU. The minimum latency is less than one microsecond, so the bandwidth is much higher even for short messages. In AIS model, GPU and FPGA works together where they are connected by PCI Express network. Here, data movement between these devices is the problem. In a traditional way, we need to transfer the data from GPU to FPGA by copying data through CPU. It takes a long time. In our newly developed module, direct memory access between GPU and FPGA is enabled via PCI Express protocol. This feature is also available to use on users' OpenCL code. By our method, GPU and FPGA on the same node can communicate much faster than the ordinary way through CPU. Especially, the minimum latency is reduced more than 10 times shorter. Cygnus is equipped with these features to support multi-hybrid accelerated computing in a very user-friendly manner for application users. One of our target applications is the simulation of early universe. The radiation transfer from spotlight and spatially distributed light strongly affected the birth of first objects in space. This code is named Argo. These two phenomena are suitable for computation on GPU and FPGA separately. So we need to combine both devices for high-speed simulation. A method named ART is suitable for FPGA rather than GPU. This graph shows the computation performance of the ART method. While GPU speed varies for several problem sizes, FPGA constantly provides higher performance than GPU. Therefore, we need to combine both GPU and FPGA for Argo application. Cygnus consists of 80 computation nodes and each node is equipped with four of NVIDIA Tesla V100 GPUs and two sockets of Intel Xeon Gold CPU. Out of these nodes, 32 special nodes are additionally equipped with two FPGA cards with the most advanced Intel FPGA, Stratix 10. We name the node with only GPUs as Deneb node and that with additional FPGA as Alberio node. As like ordinary GPU clusters, all nodes are connected by high-speed interconnection network. Each node is equipped with four channels of InfiniBand HDR100 connected to HDR200 switches to provide 400 gigabps of maximum performance. Moreover, all Alberio nodes are connected by eight channels of 100 gigabps optical interconnection cables between FPGAs. Cygnus Supercomputer is named based on our concept of multi-hybrid accelerated computing, likened to the Galaxy Cygnus A which possesses two jet streams of gas. Alberio is a famous double star in the Cygnus constellation, where we also imagine tow accelerating devices, GPU and FPGA. Cygnus is expected to solve a wide variety of computational science problems with various problem sizes at ultra-high speed. Our challenge to solve these problems by high-performance computing technology will continue.